Hello there, my name is Janet Brindley and I've been a Buteco teacher for over 20 years. I guess you're here because you feel your breathing could be better and you want to find out how you can improve your breathing by using simple breathing exercises. Well, you've come to the right place. Today, I'm going to direct you to videos on the Just Buteco channel to get you started with Buteco practice. If you have any problems finding the videos, then go to the description below the video and follow the link. A little background before we start. Dr. Buteko was a medical doctor in Russia who studied breathing patterns. He looked at how fast people breathed, how much air they breathed in and out with each breath, whether they were breathing through their nose or their mouth, whether they were breathing using muscles in their upper or lower chest, and how they breathed when they were walking and more. He discovered that the majority of his patients with breathing problems, especially asthma and anxiety, were not breathing properly. Many people were over breathing, that is breathing too much air, and others were using the wrong muscles to breathe. And he developed a breathing retraining program to teach his patients how to breathe correctly. And this is what's described in my collection of short videos on the Just Buteco channel. So where to start? Well, we start with nose breathing. The first topic covered in the program is learning to breathe through your nose all the time. The nose is designed to be breathed through. It processes the air. It cleans, moistens, warms and sterilizes the air. And the mouth does none of this. Plus, nose breathing regulates the amount of air we breathe so that we naturally breathe the correct amount of air. Now you may think that you breathe through your nose all the time, but it's very likely that you're a mouth breather at least some of the time. Perhaps when you're asleep, or when you exercise, or when you're concentrating working on a computer. So to get you started, the first video I suggest you watch is Breaking the Mouth Breathing Habit. This video includes how you check that both nostrils are clear and points you towards several different exercises which will help to clear your nose if needed. When you've completed that video and put some strategies in place to ensure nose breathing, then I suggest you come back here. The next video I suggest you watch is how to measure your control pause. The control pause is a quick test which involves holding your breath for a short time and it's used in Buteco as a measure of your progress. Generally speaking, the higher your control pause, the less likely you are to suffer with breathing problems. You'll need to know how to measure your control pause to be able to practice some of the Buteco breathing sets, which I'll be talking about in a moment. Once you know how to measure your control pause, please come back here. Okay. To retrain your breathing in Buteco way, you'll need to practice what are called breathing exercise sets. There are four styles of breathing sets to choose from. All of them are designed to retrain your breathing and develop a good, healthy breathing pattern. If you're working with a Buteco teacher, they'll advise you. Otherwise, you may need to experiment and find the set that most increases your control pause. Firstly, the mild air hunger set, which takes 10 minutes to complete. This is the most widely practiced Buteco breathing set. Here, a combination of control pauses and reduced volume breathing are practiced in order to maintain a feeling of slight air hunger over several minutes. This set may be helpful if you regularly experience breathlessness and it should be practiced between three and five times each day. There are two audio talk-throughs available for this set, one for people with a control pause of less than 15 seconds, and a second for people with a control pause of 15 seconds and over. The steps set. This set is suitable for active people with a mild breathing problem or those who only have a problem when exercising. In this set, you hold your breath while walking. 
By practicing the step set, you'll learn how to overcome strong feelings of air hunger by controlling, then relaxing your breathing. Have a look at the step set video. This set should also be practiced three times a day. The fast track set. This involves taking 100 short breath holes throughout the day and it's useful for busy people who don't have time to practice the full Buteco sets. It's also probably the best option for you if you've discovered that you have a low control pause and want to improve that, but you're not suffering from any breathing problems. Have a look at the fast track set video. The easy breathing set is also available as a 10 minute audio talk through. You can practice this in a supported lying position or sitting in a chair. If you're anxious about your breathing or uncomfortable with holding your breath, then this may be a good place to start. Here the main focus is reducing airflow by relaxing the muscles you use to breathe. And it's recommended that the easy set also be practiced three times a day. Now you can mix and match the sets. For example, practice the fast track set at work, the step set over the weekend, and the mild air hunger set before sleeping. So that's all you need to get started with Buteco. But there are a few things I'd like you to be aware of before you start practicing. No strenuous exercise. When you start Buteco training, it's advisable not to do any strenuous exercise for the first couple of weeks. So no going to the gym, no jogging, no power walking. This is because the first two weeks of the program are designed to help establish a new good breathing pattern. And a session of strenuous activity can wipe out all your hard work. Medication. Be aware that even if you feel better, you mustn't alter your medication. Always talk to your doctor or healthcare provider before making any changes to your medication. Also, if you're not sure whether the breathing exercises are suitable for you, then please check with your doctor before starting to practice. Side effects of Buteco practice. Although the breathing exercises don't seem very demanding, they can nevertheless lead to significant changes in your metabolism. And in some people, this can cause temporary symptoms similar to the common cold. In Buteco, these are called clearing reactions. So if you notice any unusual symptoms, then have a look at the clearing reactions video. The next stage. Practice these exercises for at least a week before you move on to Buteco, the next stage. That's all for now. Keep a record of your practice. Remember, Buteco only works if you practice the techniques. You won't get better by thinking about it or talking about it. So it's time to get that practice routine sorted. Okay, bye.